Hi, I'm Max from the Customer Success Team here at Hootsuite, and I'm going to share all the new features we added in October. Does your organization manage a large number of social profiles? We've added new features to Composer that let you find your preferred profiles faster when creating posts. Your most recently used profiles now appear outside the social network picker in Composer for quick selection, and you can also set profiles as favorites, so they appear at the top of the list in the picker. If your customer support team uses Zendesk, you'll now be able to create tickets directly from social messages with the new Zendesk Pro app. With the ability to set tags, add CC email addresses, set first comments as internal notes, and more. Look for our revamped account activity email in your inbox each week. Powered by our modern analytics, it contains a high-level summary of your social efforts, including a combined performance overview for all your social profiles and your top liked posts. For those of you who manage LinkedIn personal profiles in Hootsuite, we recently added metrics to analytics so you can capture insights and report on the performance of your LinkedIn posts. We're excited to announce that through Twitter's enterprise APIs, Hootsuite has increased access to data and we have brought back Twitter engagement metrics. Hootsuite Impact users can now see impressions, engagement, retweets, likes, replies, and video views in Impact and Hootsuite analytics. Also new for Impact users is the ability to apply Impact filters when viewing post-level data in Hootsuite analytics, so you can quickly gain deeper insights without leaving the dashboard. For Hootsuite Ads users, we've added some new features for Facebook ad campaign management, including an improved user experience that provides access to a list of targeting and bidding options, as well as support for all CTAs that are available in the native tool. We also have a wide range of updates to Google Ads support in Hootsuite Ads. We've expanded search campaign capabilities so you can add a new dynamic search or standard ad group to a campaign. Add new keywords to standard ad group, add a new dynamic search ad to dynamic search ad group, and add a new search ad or call only ad to standard ad group. Speaking of call-only ads, which are designed to encourage people to call your business, you can also now add these to your campaigns from Hootsuite Ads. There are more targeting options, including the ability to exclude user lists and audiences, and to edit all campaign settings such as network, language, locations, bidding strategies, and URL options. When creating new Google Ad campaigns, you can select existing extensions at the campaign and ad group level. Plus, you can also use newly available app, location, callout, and site link extensions. In one more Google Ads update, you can now analyze campaign results using new breakdowns at the account, campaign, and ad group level, including search query performance, keywordless category, keywordless query, bid goal performance, and audience performance. If social selling is part of your strategy, we have a new social selling dashboard that will help your sales team succeed with social by giving them the ability to engage with customers and prospects, publish and promote their own content, and view their personal performance metrics. We're also pleased to announce that in Hootsuite Academy, we've updated the flagship social marketing training course with 20 new videos that cover best practices for Instagram Stories, Facebook Live, Instagram TV, Google My Business, LinkedIn, and much more. Be sure to check them out at education.hootsuite.com under Social Marketing Training. That's it for October. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next month.